your return is a testament to the faithfulness of our Lord. May you find renewed strength and inspiration in your walk with Christ. Before discussing today's topic, let us pray, offering our supplications to God our Father, dear Supreme God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, whom you sacrificed to save us, the pitiable children of yours, from the fires of hell, please heed our prayers. We offer you our humble sacrifices. We accept challenges and suffering as a means to bring redemption to souls in the warning. We beseech you to grant forgiveness to sinners who find it difficult to return and accept your merciful heart, so they may offer to you the necessary sacrifices and make amends before your eyes. Amen. Welcome to our channel. We hope you enjoy the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest updates. Join us on this journey and listen to this video until the very end. Type Amen if you believe, God always blesses you. Today, we will share with you an important message from Father Ayla, who has received revelations from the Blessed Mother about the upcoming events marking, the beginning of the Great Tribulation. Many of you may have heard of Father Oliveira's prophecies, who also affirmed hearing the Blessed Mother say that this October will be a crucial time for humanity. What terrible events will occur in October? Should we be fearful or worried? How can we prepare ourselves for the challenges ahead? In this video, we will attempt to address these questions by reflecting on Father Ayla's message providing us with profound insights and guidance from the Blessed Mother. The main theme in his message is the impending drought-induced Great Tribulation that will affect the world in October. Dear brothers and sisters, Father Ayla reveals that the Blessed Mother told him that this year's October will mark the beginning of the Great Tribulation that she forewarned about in France, Portugal, and Spain. She believes that this phase will not commence with a loud bang, but rather it will unfold slowly and spread gradually worldwide. She says that the battle that has begun will intensify, with drought, severe storms, and earthquakes occurring in many places around the world. However, she also emphasizes that we should not be afraid when hearing these rumors but should trust in her Son, our God. She says an important time is coming when many will lose their vigilance. She shares that her wound is bleeding profusely, and the only solace she finds is in the prayers and faithful actions of those devoted to her. She states that the assault on the innocent, her little children, has become a tragedy. She says that she can no longer delay the just intervention of her father against his people, those who reject his mercy. She says that we should strive to maintain a state of grace, for demons will assail humanity with very powerful temptations, especially against priests. She states that the earth is trembling and quaking. On the day of a seismic shock that shakes the world, many will realize that their actions do not align with his will. She says that Satan has secretly infiltrated many families, churches, and congregations. He and his followers have corrupted nations and hearts, leading them far from the truth. Through fear, he has deceived the minds of his children, offering them false comfort, hope, and peace. She says that now is the time when those willing to follow his wicked plan will find themselves on a path of eternal darkness. Beloved child, she tells Father Ayla, Europe will change. From France, the flames of destruction have already ignited due to the violence that demons have sown in human hearts. Covert invasions are spreading, concealing their true motives. France falls into the hands of those it welcomed. Spain will be a victim of similar violence, Barcelona will suffer to the point of exhaustion, consumed by flames ignited by these destructive creatures. Spain trembles under the hatred of attackers from within. Italy must also endure a similar wrath. 
It is under attack. Italy is overrun by those who reject our King and Jesus Christ, aiming to erase all visible traces of God's will. Please pray, my children, please pray. A celestial body is approaching Earth. Please pray, my children, please pray. America is in pain for what is happening in Europe. Please pray, my children, please pray. The war does not cease. It is coming closer to you. Please pray, my children, please pray. Humanity is revealing its darkest possession by itself. Above all, this event should be faced not with fear and cowardice, but with love and courage. Dear child, this is why your father calls you at this hour, to remind you that now is the right time to become holy, not tomorrow but now. Adoration of the Holy Eucharist must be your anchor, and this anchor must be the Rosary. Acts of reparation and sacrifices in adoration of the Holy Eucharist combined with the Rosary can change every prophecy. Do not forget to adore the Holy Eucharist, to offer the sacrifices of reparation for the redemption of souls, for the conversion of sinners, and for the sanctification of priests. Remember that God knows all things and controls all things. Not long from now, the Immaculate Heart of Mother will triumph on October 13th. Mother will come to assist all of her children, but most importantly, be faithful during this time of purification, trust in the help of your guardian angels. Now is the time for the saints to bless all of you. This is the end of the message, dear brothers and sisters. We are at an important moment in the history of the message from the Blessed Mother, calling us to be vigilant, and attentive to the signs of the Lord. Let us open our hearts to the challenges of the Lord and, more importantly, to our need for spiritual renewal and a deeper journey of faith. Let us pray, as children of God, to fully embrace a life of repentance and prayer, to deepen our relationship with God, and to let His grace guide us through these difficult times. May we come to a holier life and a firmer faith. Amen. What a joy it has been to have you with us today. Your presence has added depth and meaning to our time of worship. We want to extend our sincerest thanks for choosing to spend this sacred time with us. As you leave, may you carry with you the words and teachings that have been shared. May they be a source of comfort in times of trial, a wellspring of wisdom in moments of uncertainty, and a beacon of hope when the path ahead seems dim. Remember, our journey of faith is one of growth and transformation, and we are grateful to walk this path with you. May God's grace and peace be with you always.